Good morning, this is in Shaman Oracle reading and today I'm reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces and this reading here is for Capricorn. Welcome Capricorn, I'm using the Moon and Stars Tarot, I'm using two cards of the deck and card number one is Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles relates to perseverance, reward, and investment. And the meaning of the card is vision. This card asks you to be patient and to continue down your path and watch what you have sowed as the, as the nurture you show to all your projects will pay off and be worth your weight. Things may seem stagnant or stuck at a time, but it will go away because movement and a sense of accomplishment, they are coming. So don't force anything to do with time or money, as this may jeopardize your outcome. Work with what you have around you and try to focus on something else. There is a moon message. The finishing line is straight ahead, so stay patient and it will be worse in the end. Card number two of the moon and stars tarot is the queen of cups. And keywords here, there are intuition, idealism, and stability. And the meaning of the card is empathy. This queen is very compassionate, caring, and loving. And she expects nothing in return when she is giving her love, as this is when she is feeling best, knowing how precious love is during time spent together. A female influence, maybe a friend or family member or a partner, may be idealistic, patient and kind to you. The Queen of Cups, she asks you to look into your divine feminine powers and look at the passion and the beauty you have to offer yourself and those around you. So begin problem solving and start looking into your creative ideas and honor yourself. There is a moon message. Ask yourself, what can I offer and give those around me? in terms of love, time, stability, and support. Now we come to the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle card and out came the stone Assess to Light. And Assess to Light is about the cosmos, the evolution of the cosmos and cosmic vibration. Access to light is imbued with immense spiritual energies and information for guidance and insight. The stone is helping the earth to ascend into a higher expression of consciousness. There is a self-understanding of the stone, seeing that you are a being of light here to help the earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday events. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which then become inauthentic and lethal. If niceness is not acknowledged and integrated 
into your life as well. So stay real and leave your ego behind. There is a divination. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. So make yourself heard. A project of yours is successful no matter what. So avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. There is healing inside, recognizing that every soul is precious, ensures you to remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. The chakras the stone relates to is all, all chakras, but especially the crown chakra. And the soul path of the stone is telling you that your soul path is assisting the earth to evolve. Now we come to the oracle of the fairies and out came the card Magical Gateway. And the Magical Gateway relates to kinds of things. It takes courage, it says, and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It is time to step boldly forward without looking back. The fairies are asking you to step through the fairy door and into their world of magic and wonder. They are telling you that fairy tales, they are real and that you are never too old to believe in fairies. Perhaps you have been thinking about embarking on the fairy path. If you are using this deck or somebody reads for you from this deck, the chances are you are already having more than a passing interest in the ways of the fae. If so, now is the time to walk through the fairy door and fully embrace your magical fairy self. The golden key to this fairy door resides deep inside your heart. It is important to know that once you step through this magical gateway, your life will be changed. You will see and feel nature in a deeper way. You will feel more connected to the plants, the trees and the flowers and develop a deeper compassion for all living things. You might even find yourself becoming vegan or vegetarian if you are not already. Your interest in conservation and the environment could also be heightened. These are all traits of someone who has ventured through the fairy door, so consider this carefully. If you are at all unsure whether you should walk through the fairy door, meditate on the question until you know in your heart that it is the right thing to do. Once you have passed through the door, prepare for more magic and joy to enter your life, knowing that you are always safe protected and loved. And the last card is the lovely animals oracle card and out came angelfish. And I have to admit I never heard of that fish called angelfish. But we find out what this is all about. The angelfish relates to therapy, to art, 
and spirit. There is a general message for the card. You are asked to do art therapy to help you get in touch with your spirit guides, your inner and your higher self. So listen, feel and paint these angelic melodies without thinking and without planning. You will feel immense peace and also happiness. Your strength is that you are sensitive and artistic. You are a positive, empathic person. Your opportunities they come from good ideas, clean energy to heal past traumas through an art therapy or other artistic and spiritual methods. There might be some difficulty dealing with other people when living in the same environment because they might distract you and also try to diminish your energy. Any social media, television and games as well as bad energies They can interfere with the ability to communicate with spiritual guides and so develop creativity. You need some time for yourself. So, that was your reading Capricorn. Thank you for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a great week. I will be back tomorrow with some little thing, okay? So take care, goodbye, and have a wonderful day.